Hello, here's a little film about Vitruvius Man by Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci's original drawing for Vitruvius Man was on a piece of paper about A4 from his notebooks. So I thought I'd um, complicate it a bit. In the late 1400s, Leonardo da Vinci produced a drawing marking the measurements of man. I wouldn't want Leonardo to be upset with me, so I'm making sure I get this right. It might look like I'm doing very little, but I'm making sure that everything is in the right place. Vitruvius, the architect, says in his work on architecture that the measurements of the human body are distributed by nature as follows. That is, that four fingers make one palm and four palms make one foot. Six palms make one cubit. Four cubits make a man's height. At last! some real drawing. I've got the little notebook in my left hand so I feel I should explain that my head is wobbling because I keep looking at the page to check I'm getting this right. I haven't naturally got such a wobbly head. Indeed if I did have a wobbly head it would probably be harder to draw straight lines. I don't believe Leonardo da Vinci had a wobbly head either. Four cubits make one pace and 24 palms make a man. And these measurements he used in his building. If you open your legs so much as to decrease your height by 1 14th and spread and raise your arms till your middle finger touch the level of the top of your head, you must know that the centre of the outspread limbs will be in the navel, and the space between the legs will be an equilateral triangle. I feel I should be honest at this point and admit that I didn't know that the centre of my body with my arms stretched up like that would be exactly in my navel or that if I spread my legs I would make an equilateral triangle. Perhaps we should all spread our legs a little bit more often and make more equilateral triangles. It's a bit of a challenge scaling up a small drawing because any errors become really obvious. So I hope that Vitruvius Man here is close to scale, at least close to what Leonardo da Vinci originally drew. To be honest, I'm quite glad he's not watching really. The length of a man's outspread arms is equal to his height. Hands, always a bit of a challenge to draw, and this guy has got four of them, so he doubled my challenge. But I think I've roughly got them in the right place, at least they are on the end of his arms. From the roots of the hair to the bottom of the chin is the tenth of a man's height. From oops, from the roots, oops again. From the roots of the hair to the bottom of the chin is the tenth of a man's height. From the bottom of the chin to the top of his head is one eighth of his height. From the top of the breast to the top of the head will be one sixth of a man. From the top of the breast 
to the roots of the hair will be the seventh part of the whole man. I wonder if Vitruvius Man was moving his arms up and down rapidly or holding them in place. And there's nothing to say whether he had his arms up when his legs were together or his arms down when his legs were apart. He could go either way. And so it was that the star jump was invented. Little did he know what a craze it would become. From the nipples to the top of the head will be the fourth part of a man. The greatest width of the shoulders contains in itself the fourth part of the man. From the elbow to the tip of the hand will be the fifth part of a man. And from the elbow to the angle of the armpit will be the eighth part of a man. The whole hand will be the tenth part of the man. The beginning of the genitals marks the middle of the man. And here's why Leonardo da Vinci was such a clever bloke. Because there's a square there and a circle right there. The foot is the seventh part of the man. From below the knee to the beginning of the genitals will be the fourth part of the man. The distance from the bottom of the chin to the nose and from the roots of the hair to the eyebrows is in each case the same and like the ear a third of the face. What a clever bloke Leonardo da Vinci was. If you'd like to watch more videos about drawing and about art then please subscribe and I'll do my best to keep you entertained with something new each week. Thanks for watching. Bye.